Hello friends, welcome to ACE Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss angle of departure in root locus method. The angle at which the branch or locus leaves the complex pole is called angle of departure. It is denoted by phi d. With an example, we will see how to calculate angle of departure. Now in this example, I have considered open loop transfer function g of s into h of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus 3 into s square plus 4s plus 20. So here the denominator poles s is equal to 0, s plus 3 is equal to 0, s square plus 4s plus 20 is equal to 0. So this can be written as s is equal to 0, s plus 3 is equal to 0 can be written as s is equal to minus 3 and uh, this quadratic equation from this I am getting two complex poles uh, and from this quadratic equation I am getting two complex poles that is s is equal to minus 2 plus j4 then s is equal to minus 2 minus j4 remember when there is a quadratic uh, equation I may get uh, complex poles and if I am getting complex poles then I need to calculate angle of departure only for the complex poles I am going to calculate the angle of departure for an real poles, I am not going to calculate the angle of departure. So next we are going to plot pole 0 plot. From that we are going to calculate the angle of departure. On this, now I am going to consider the pole location. That is first pole, S is equal to 0. That is at the origin, S is equal to 0. Then next pole, S is equal to minus 3. So here I will be considering S is equal to minus 3 and uh, the other two complex poles you can see at uh, minus 2 plus J4 and uh, the second complex pole S is equal to minus 2 minus J4 minus 2 minus J4. Calculate angle of departure is we need to consider either this point or this point that is minus 2 plus j4 or minus 2 minus j4. If I am calculating for minus 2 plus j4 then the value I am going to get for minus 2 minus j4 is same with opposite sign. Therefore any one point we are going to calculate. The first step to calculate angle of departure at this point that is minus 2 plus j4 is we are going to join this pole towards to this point and this pole towards to this point and this pole towards to this point. In the problem whatever the poles have poles or zeros given then that poles or zeros going to be pointed towards to this point if I am calculating angle of departure with respect to this point. So let us see by joining all these poles towards to this point what angles I am going to get. And you can see in this I have joined this pole towards to this point and uh, this pole towards to this point and this pole towards to this point. Uh, now for this pole angle I am going to name phi P1 and uh, for this pole angle I am going to name phi P2 and for this pole angle I am going to name phi P3. In this problem only I have given poles. If uh, there are any zeros, then we are going to point that zeros also towards to this point. Then I will be naming as phi z1, phi z2 in that way. So anyhow, in this example, I have not considered any zeros. Only I have considered poles. Uh, by considering into that, uh, I am getting uh, three pole angles. That is phi p1, phi p2, phi p3. And uh, next we will proceed uh, to calculate angle of departure. The formula for an angle of departure is... The formula for an angle of departure is phi d is equivalent to 180 minus phi and in this phi is phi is equivalent to summation of phi p minus summation of phi z. Now to get the phi we are going to sum the pole angles and then that will be subtracted by sum of zero angles. Now in this uh, I am not having any zero angles, I am having only pole angles that is I uh, will be finding a summation of phi p, summation of phi p is equivalent to summation of phi p is equivalent to 
फाइव पी वन प्लस फाइव पी टू प्लस फाइव पी थ्री नाउ आई हैव टू गेट दी एंगल फाइव पी वन फाइव पी टू एंड फाइव पी थ्री द फाइव पी वन एंगल इज फाइव पी वन इज इक्वल एंड टू यू कैन सी हर फाइव पी वन दिस एंगल कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड टेन इनवर्स ऑफ ऑपोजिट बाय एडजस्टेंट यू कैन सी हर ऑपोजिट इज फोर एंड एडजस्टेंट इज वन सो यू कैन सी हर टेन इनवर्स ऑफ ऑपोजिट बाय एडजस्टेंट टेन इनवर्स ऑफ ऑपोजिट वैल्यू इज फोर एंड एडजस्टेंट वैल्यू इज दिस लेंथ इज वन See, we are not going to consider the sign here. Just we are considering the length. So now, tan inverse of four by one is equivalent to seventy-five point nine six degree. So this is the angle I got. Five P one. Five P one is equivalent to seventy-five point nine six degree. So I got the first angle. Five P one. Next, I am going to calculate phi p two. So phi p two in this case we can see here phi p two is an angle of ninety degree. So directly I am writing phi p two ninety degree. Next, I am going to calculate phi p three. Phi p three in this you can see for uh, to calculate phi p three this angle also unknown and this angle also unknown. Therefore. When uh, you find such type of angle, both unknown, then you can uh, consider here one eighty minus one eighty minus tan inverse of opposite by adjacent. So in this opposite is four by adjacent length is two. So tan inverse of so one eighty minus tan inverse of 2 is 63.43 degree phi p3 is equal to 116.57 degree these are the three angles i got now so now by substituting these three angles in this above i am going to get summation of phi p is equal to Phi P one is seventy five point nine six degree plus Phi P two is ninety plus Phi P three is hundred and sixteen point five seven degree. Therefore, the total summation Phi P I got here hundred and eighty two point five three. Now this I am going to substitute in the above formula. That is, phi is equal to summation phi p minus summation phi z. In this example, I have not considered any zero. Therefore, this summation of phi z I will consider zero. Now by substituting this uh, summation of phi p in this, I will get the phi value that is going to be subtracted by the one hundred and eighty to get the angle of departure. Now. This summation of phi p two hundred and eighty two point five three. I am going to substitute in this equation. By that, I will get phi is equal to two eighty two point five three minus. And in this problem, I am not having any zero values. Therefore, this will be taken as zero. We got the value phi is equal to two eighty two point five three. And we know the formula angle of departure. Angle of departure is equal to 180 minus 5, and we are going to substitute the phi value here. So angle of departure is equal to 180 minus 282.53. So now here I am getting the value 5d is equal to minus 102.53. At I calculated this angle of departure at minus two plus j four, and uh, we are not going to calculate the uh, angle of departure for the other side. We can write for the other side phi d is equal to plus one not two point five three at minus two minus j four. So here you can see that uh, I have calculated by considering uh, one point uh, that is minus two plus j four. For that I got the angle of departure 
minus 102.53 and uh, on the other side that is at uh, minus 2 minus j4 we are going to consider the same value with opposite sign this is the angle of departure for the example what we have considered at this angle the branches or locus leaves the complex pole next uh, we'll understand this angle of departure with one more example now second example in this example open loop transfer function g of s into h of s is equal to k into s plus 4 into s minus 3 divided by s into s plus 3 into s square plus 4 s plus 20 so in this we can see i have considered uh, zero two zeros in the numerator and in the denominator i have considered four poles that is uh, s is equal to 0 and then s plus 3 is equal to 0 and then the quadratic equation s square plus 4s plus 20 is equal to 0 these are the poles in the denominator i have considered now this can be written as s is equal to 0 s is equal to minus 3 and uh, we know from this quadratic equation we are getting two complex poles that is s is equal to minus 2 plus j4 and then s is equal to minus 2 minus j4 so these are the poles i got and then uh, i have considered zeros next zeros in the numerator you can see s plus 4 is equal to 0 and uh, second 0 s minus 3 is equal to 0 so this can be written as s is equal to minus 4 and uh, s is equal to plus 3 so one zero is on the left hand side and one zero is on the right hand side next we are going to plot pole zero plot for these values to calculate angle of departure on this uh, now i consider pole pole and zero locations first you can see the first pole is s is equal to 0 that is at the origin and next pole is at minus 3 minus 3 and uh, the next two complex poles that is at minus 2 plus j4 minus 2 plus j4 and then the fourth then and then next second complex pole is minus 2 minus j4 now in this way we have considered the poles location next we will consider the zero location one i am having zero on the left hand side that is at minus 4 so minus 4 the next zero location is plus 3 that i am going to consider here that is s is equal to plus 3 now to calculate angle of departure we are going to consider this point or this point that is at minus 2 plus j4 or minus 2 minus j4 if uh, if i am considering minus 2 plus j4 the value what i am going to get the angle of departure that value will be same at this point but with opposite sign now we are going to consider this point and uh, looking into this point we are going to join all the pole and zeros towards to this point this zero towards to this point this pole towards to this point and this pole towards to this point and uh, this pole towards to this point and this zero towards to this point by joining from this uh, zero to this point i will get uh, phi z1 this pole to this point i will get phi p1 this pole to this point i will get phi p2 from this point to this point i am going to get from this pole to this point i am going to get phi p3 and from this 0 to this point i am going to get phi z2 so that means here i am going to get two zero angles and three pole angles now you can see i have joined this zero to this point that is i am getting here angle of zero that is phi z1 and at this point uh, i have joined uh, this pole towards to this point from this i am getting a pole first pole angle that is phi p1 and uh, from this point uh, from this pole towards to this point uh, i am getting the second pole angle that is phi p2 now here third pole towards to this point from this i am getting here phi p3 third 
pole angle and uh, at this point this zero towards to this point from this i am getting this is a zero so i got here phi z1 so this will be phi z2 so in this way we are just uh, pointing towards to this point all the poles and zeros and now we need to calculate uh, all these angles uh, phi z1 phi z2 phi p1 phi p2 and phi p3 we know the angle of departure formula is phi d equal to 180 minus phi and phi is equal to summation of phi p minus summation of phi z so in this uh, summation of phi p is equal to we are having three pole angles that is uh, phi p 1 plus phi p 2 plus phi p 3 we need to find the values of phi p1 we need to find the angle of phi p1 phi p2 and phi p3 and then we need to substitute we will get the summation of phi p the next uh, we need to find the summation of phi z summation of phi z is equivalent to phi z1 plus phi z2 so in this i am having two zero angles so i need to find the two zero angles i need to find the summation of that Next, we are going to calculate phi p1, phi p2, phi p3 and phi z1 and phi z2. Now in this, first I am going to find summation of phi p that I am going to consider first uh, uh, phi p1 angle. So first I am going to consider phi p1 angle that is you can see here in this uh, phi p angle is equal to tan inverse of opposite by adjacent. So opposite value is here 4 and adjacent value is 1. So for phi p1 phi p1 is equivalent to tan inverse tan inverse of 4 by 1 that is opposite by adjacent this will be equivalent to 75.96 degree next we are going to find the phi p2 in this you can see that the phi p2 is equivalent to 90 degree so directly i am writing that second pole angle that is 90 degree next third angle that is phi p3 you can see here in this this angle also unknown and this angle also unknown therefore we are going to consider when such type of uh, angle we, if you find then uh, we are going to consider phi p3 is equal to 180 minus tan inverse of 180 minus tan inverse of opposite by adjacent opposite is 4 and adjacent is 2 opposite 4 by adjacent is 2 so now for this I am getting phi p3 is equal to 180 minus tan inverse of 4 by 2 that is tan inverse of 2 is 63.43. So this 180 minus 63.43 I am getting here 116.57. So this is the third angle I got pole angle. This is the uh, second pole angle and here I got uh, phi p1 is equal to 75.96 degree so this is the first pole angle so in this you can see I got uh, three pole angles that is phi p1 phi p2 phi p3 this I am going to substitute in the equation in this equation that is summation of uh, phi p is equal to phi p1 plus phi p2 plus phi p 3 now we know the phi p 1 value summation of phi p is equal to phi p 1 is 75.96 degree plus phi p 2 90 degree plus and then phi p 3 116.57 therefore here i got a summation of phi p is equal to 282.53 so next we are going to calculate the Next we are going to calculate the summation of phi z that is phi z1 plus phi z2. So to calculate phi z1 you can see here to calculate phi z1 you can see here in this only one unknown angle therefore I am going to consider tan inverse of opposite by adjacent. Here the opposite value is 4 and the adjacent value is 2. You can see here from this point to this point the value is 2. So now by considering that tan inverse opposite value is 4 4 by 2 
here i am getting tan inverse of 4 by 2 is equal into we are we are going to get 63.43 so i got the zero angle that is 63.43 Next, I am going to calculate the second zero angle that is phi z2. Now here in this you can see I am having two unknown angles. Therefore, I am going to consider phi z2 is equivalent to 180 minus tan inverse of opposite by adjacent. In this opposite value is 4 and adjacent from this point to this point that is 2 plus 3 is 5, 4 by here I will be getting 180 minus tan inverse 4 by 5 is 38.65 so this will be equivalent to 141.35 so here I got 5z2 so in this way we have calculated phi z1 and phi z2 this phi z1 and phi z2 i am going to substitute in this equation i will get phi z summation of phi z is equivalent to 63.43 plus 141.35 this will be equivalent to summation of phi z is equivalent to 204 204.78 so this is the summation of phi z and uh, we calculated summation of uh, phi p that is equivalent to 282.53 now this i am going to substitute in the phi equation that is phi v is equivalent to summation of uh, phi p minus summation of phi z so phi is equivalent to 282.53 minus 200 and 4.78 so this value 5 value i am getting here 77.75 now this 5 value i am going to substitute in the angle of departure formula that is 5d is equivalent to 180 minus uh, 5 so 5d is equivalent to 180 minus 77.75 here i am getting 5d is equivalent to 180 minus 77.75 is 102.25 degree that is at minus 2 plus j4 the the other uh, point value i'll be getting with the same value and the other angle i'm going to get with the same value with opposite side that is 5d is equivalent to minus 102.25 degree at minus 2 minus j4 so this is the angle of departure we got at minus 2 plus j4 at this angle the branches or locus leaves the complex pole so, so in this way we are going to calculate the angle of departure remember we are going to calculate angle of departure in the problem only when complex poles are given Suppose if in the numerator complex zeros are given, then we are going to find angle of arrival. So in this, I have calculated only angle of departure. I have not discussed the other steps of the root locus. If in the problem, if it asks to uh, sketch complete root locus, then I need to consider all the root locus steps. Uh, that is uh, centroid, angle of asymptotes, uh, breakaway point, intersection with imaginary axis, and then I need to calculate angle of departure. In this, I have shown only in the example how to calculate angle of departure. So, hope you understood this video. For more such videos, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.